I'm back. It seems like it's been forever since we sat down and did a review like this, ever since I started the vlog series and the concert series. But I'm back, and today I'll be talking about my second voyage on board, Virgin Voyages, Scarlet Lady 2.0. It was a time had by all. I'm always on a budget, so we're gonna start off with the price. We paid $847 per person for a four night voyage, okay? And we went to Key West and Bimini. But let me say something about the room category. So me being on the budget, being savvy, right? I chose the limited view, C Terrace. Why did I do that? What a mistake. Or our particular cabin was completely obstructed. I mean, the lifeboat was bam right in your eyesight so you know that wasn't gonna work so we went down to guest services or sailor services and my friend paid to have us upgraded it's only $75 and we got upgraded thank the Lord that cabin was way better there was no obstruction our so cabin cute. is a sea terrace and the bed converts right so we initially got there, the bed was together. I asked my uh, room attendant if he wouldn't mind separating the bed and breaking the bed up. You have a lot more walking room. You have a lot more space. It was perfect. looking to book a cruise on board the Scarlet Lady and it says limited view trust and believe it's going to be limited unless you're over the lifeboat a little bit if you're on the floor that we were on which is deck eight we were directly in front of the lifeboat so keep that in mind some of the major differences between last time and this time last time room service was five dollar service fee flat fee this time it's seven dollar flat fee it ended up being ten dollars for the room service because they do charge you for carbonated drinks or anything that's in a can last year the pajama party was inside the manor so that's what i was expecting a live dj that wasn't the case this time this time the pajama party was actually outside <laughs> Um, it, it left a lot to be desired because it's kind of like spread out. There wasn't a DJ. It was just music piped through. From my understanding, I didn't see a DJ. I didn't hear anybody talking. So it was just music. And it, it kind of gives it a, a 
a different vibe. I thought last year was more intimate. I thought, you know, I just felt it more. I really did like it when Hardy was inside the manor. So I don't know what was what prompted that change, but guys, I think if, if you guys are tuning in, Virgin, you need to go back to having that party, the pajama party inside the manor where it's a little more intimate and you have a live DJ because a live DJ experience makes all the difference in the world. Let's get into this bar tab, four hundred dollar bar tab. My, I wanted to split it, huh? Guess what? That can't be done. They will not split your bar tab. So keep that in mind. You would actually have to have your own individual bar tabs. However. When they take one person's credit card off and everybody is everything is charged on one account, then both of you are free to use the bar tab as you see fit. You don't have to be together. You can go up and order, but it's only gonna be one card on file. And whoever that, that lead passenger is, whoever that person's card is on file, is going to allow the roommate to hop on their credit card charges. So any incidentals that they may incur, just keep in mind, it will be on your credit card. I visited razzle dazzle for the first time because you know like i said before i didn't hear too many great things about it but i wanted to try some things on the menu for myself when i tell you i was pleasantly surprised i love the salmon bowl that i had i'm not quite certain everything that was in it but i'm gonna post that um and the churro with the purple ice cream that was pretty pretty That's good bottomless right. mimosas at razzle dazzle is a great option for 25 dollars because two glasses of champagne can run you 25 dollars Keep in mind when you're ordering at Razzle Dazzle and you're having brunch, you may want to get there a little early if you plan on taking advantage of the bottomless mimosas because the bar does close around 1, 1.30. If you want to get the best for your buck, try to shoot for 11 a.m. brunch reservation at Razzle Dazzle. I had my birthday dinner at The Wake. Once again, The Wake did not disappoint, baby. Oh, I can't wait to get into that filet mignon and these sliced baked potatoes. I already told y'all before that this is so good. Yes. That garlic sets it off. Look, somebody praying over there. Oh, Lord, thank you. It makes it pop, right? That roasted garlic is so good. I try to tell people, make sure you book the wake. This filet mignon right here with this roasted garlic. Mmm. Mmm. It's the bomb. It was everything I told you about the first time. Delicious. Tender. Service was fast, faster than it was the first time I went. We visited the test kitchen on day one of an embarkation and it was different. I was expecting the same menu from last time, but I learned that they rotate the menu. The filet mignon that I was looking so forward to with the chocolate cake, with the coconut caviar, I was looking forward to that. However, it was not offered on the night that we dined. The test kitchen, unoccupied. Cucumbers on top, made with the pico ones, and also all oh, fresh. She's gonna love that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. She is. And, and she, she's gonna love that sauce. Is that butter sauce with the parsley? Yes, yes. girl. Yes. I can cook it. Thank you. That's the bomb. This is good. That's the bomb. This is good. Thank you. More? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is the, the pasta. It's made, made, from, made from white cotch, shrimp, white uh -huh. uh, fish sauce, white eggs and cream. And the broth made from lobster. It's a lobster broth. Alright, well thank you so Enjoy. much. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Uh, have a nice, have a very nice party so you can celebrate. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna just be honest, for myself, I enjoyed the test kitchen more the first time, more so than I did this time. 
Um, I didn't enjoy the corn puree. I did enjoy the salmon. Now that was off the chain. That smoked salmon was bomb. That seafood pasta was pretty good. Um, would I go again on that, that menu? Probably not. So you may want to take a, a look at the menu. I know we kind of book in advance and when we book in advance, we don't know what the menu is going to be for said particular day. But if you talk to guest services, perhaps if you look at the menu and you say, Hey, this is not quite what I want. I want something different. Then perhaps you can change your reservation to another day. Just a suggestion. Oh, I had an interview with a very popular TikToker. Want to know who? Ah, you got to stay tuned for that. I was able to do a tour of the Rockstar Suite as Sean Cruz allowed us to go into his cabin. He just opened it up to everybody in the Facebook group and it was he was very hospitable. It was a very good time. And let's take a look inside of this Rockstar Suite. Comes with a record player with actual vinyl records. Now that's a real perk right there. It comes with all of this serving like shakers and stuff like that. You'll see. if I thought that it was worth it. Now, I don't know what everybody paid. I heard some people only pay $300 of charge. Some people pay $1,200 of charge. I have no idea what people pay. Get it at don't a discount or reasonable rate. I would say it's equivalent to like a home to suites and it's really spacious. I would say it's about that size, maybe a little larger for one person. That's plenty of space. Um, but the balcony was like a double balcony. Now that, that was a bonus. But I mean, aside from that, I mean, you get the full walk-in bathroom. Now <laughs> that's worth it, but what is it worth to you? I don't know. But for me, I'll stick with the C Terrace or the XLC Terrace. Now the entertainment, when I tell you the entertainment was top notch. Okay. So I didn't experience what I experienced last time. This time I went to the dual reality and I stayed, I stayed and it was awesome. Um, I have a little clip of it. I don't know what happened with my camera You know, I had different cameras going on and some of the footage I did not capture the ship show on that. You don't want to miss the show was outstanding. It was remarkable. I don't have any footage of it because they asked us not to record and I'm going to be obedient to that because I'm not trying to get banned anyway, but I'm gonna tell you the show was off the chain. It was one for the record books. The food and on that menu was to die for it. I really wanted some more of that if I could have had a second. So I believe it was swordfish. I'm not certain. It was some type of fish. I'll put the menu up. Fish and I had some. We had a side of kale. The kale was kind of kind of sort of like a garnish. That kale was so good. We ordered a whole side of it. It was crunchy kale. Seasoned to perfection. A little spiciness. Baby, that right there, that's a winner winner for you. Gumbe. I was pleasantly surprised when I went to Gumbe and my previous waiter was there serving our table. Yeah, I will be taking the next step up. I will come be for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is a drink game with appetizers. It don't matter if you want to play or you don't want to play. Keep playing. Right. Three, six, or nine. In sit that class. If you say the number of you clap, you out from the game. Gumbe is mean. Cheers. Empty the glass. Thank you. Now let me say, version you guys listening, you guys are overworking the staff in Gumbay. I say that because we sat there, no lie, 45 minutes, 45 minutes before we were served. 45 minutes went by, nothing. 
Look, we had kimchi and that was it. More that's really a half that's hour. That's what I'm saying. More that's than that. That's happened. But you're going to continue. We said that all take care of. Guys, guys. We sat down two hours ago. We didn't get the bimbimbap or the jatai noodles until like 45 minutes later. Yeah, we sat down for 45 minutes. They didn't talk to us. We had a manager that was a manager, a maitre d'. Come up to us. And, oh, and ask us. Yeah, oh, has anyone taken your drink order? You guys all right? And we were like, no. And he's said, oh, okay. Well, I'll be back in two hours. And we walked away. Like, what? 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 Like, that means that the bill's on them. That's the way I interpret it. That's the way everybody at my table interpret it. And I'll let you guys hear how I play it out. Oh, yeah. Could you not say yeah. that the drinks are on you because of the inconvenience? Take care of the drinks. Take care of the drinks. Take care of the drinks. Oh, no. You said, I'm going to take care of the drinks. I'll take care of the drinks. That's what that means to me. But that's how you right or wrong. Teach them a little bit. Oh, that was fun. Thank you, Chris, for the experience. And there was oh. an increase in charges. The Wagyu is now a $55 upgrade. It's no longer $45. So there has been rate increases. Let's get into Bimini. It's hot. That's so all I'm gonna say. Take yourself an electronic fan with a portable charger so you can kind of, kind of stay cool. Bimini is beautiful. I'll say that there is a tram that takes you from the cruise port to Bimini. It might be like a 15 minute ride. It might be less than that. I'm not quite sure. But I did. Huh? This time I sat down at the beach, enjoyed the nice breeze. You know, it was just a little different vibe than it was the last time, and I, I enjoyed it. I That's cool, they got those little fans on the table to keep the bugs away, because the uh, flies were treacherous out here last time. I couldn't even eat my food. I like the fact that they have this covered, covering the sand as a path. I get a breeze down here. Oh yeah. a taxi into what they call um, the straw market, I believe. And the taxi was $5 each way. The driver stays with you the whole time. And if you want to make stops along the way, like I wanted to get some food, he stopped off for me to pick up, pick up some food. Straw market. The straw market from here is seven miles. What happened? Take you to the ATM in the Hilton, which, which gives you American money. let you guys hear from a couple of the individuals on the ship who I met met like I said a lot of Virgos and people gave their honest reviews and you are going to hear from Josh Cruises he's famously known on TikTok for his reviews I'll let you guys hear what Josh had to say what do you like most about it for me I think the food we have been so. on a few cruises and mm -hmm. by far this is the best food I've had on any cruise which restaurants did you go to we loved Pink Agave yes. and we loved the wig. The service has been oh, incredible. Extra virgin, we also. Extra Pink Agave, virgin. the wig, extra virgin. Okay, okay. what did you guys order? Just so people know, like, yeah. what do you recommend? What did you order when you so were there? We came with a big group. So we actually ordered, like, almost everything on the shareables, menu. Right? Yes, yeah, right. shareables, which the service, again, was incredible. I really liked, what did we have? The duck was really good. At Pink Agave. At Pink Agave, the duck is really good. The desserts. Everywhere, the desserts, <laughs> everywhere, fantastic. the galley, all the restaurants, dessert, dessert, dessert. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Have you seen any of the shows? We did. Untitled Dance Party Show. Right. It was really cool. It was like a dance party, the stage moved, 
It oh, was wow. fun though. Yeah, very it was really fun. Very, yeah. It's very um like interactive. 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 Yeah, they so. dance with you. They include you. They kind of talk oh, to cool. you. Yeah, it was really it was awesome. Really cool. Cool. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Awesome. The show was absolutely phenomenal. Yes, and okay. the food was off the chain for yeah. me. Wow. Yes, I, I mean the food everywhere has been awesome. Incredible for us. Yeah, about like not having. A actual buffet you can walk up to and just get your food anytime no. instead of waiting 30 minutes. That's true. I have had a problem with that. Like, but we like the grab and go stuff around right. the show. That's what I was telling her about the grab and go because you know they have sandwiches, they have salads, yes. they have sushi. fruit, the sushi, the sushi. Right. and their like little charcuterie was really nice. Where's that? Nice. I missed that. It's up in, in the galley. Yes, yeah. they have little grab and go boxes of like prosciutto, salami, cheeses, oh, little like breadstick okay. things. Really so good. I guess we've all been talking about the food. So the food is yeah, good, I food. guess. Come for the food. <laughs> what I like about it is that once you pay your price, you're done. Everything's yes. included. Yes. The yes. tips are yes. included. Yes. I like that there are no like hidden fees. Right. Like, you're not, yeah, you're not, you don't have this bill system. Yeah. Right. Before, right. Yeah. You're not like so, settling a bill. It's a bit different than any other cruise. Yeah. I will say that I like it. It's modern. They're sleek. They're technology mm -hmm. savvy. So. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. Of course. Oh, thank yeah. you. Enjoy the rest of the voyage. Yeah. yeah. I really like the travel. It's really fun. However, Aesthetically, visually pleasing, this blows it out the water. It's one of the best cruise ships I've ever been on. No kids. That's that Virgo energy, okay? Virgo, 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 Virgo energy. energy. All day, all, all day. day. Here's the Virgo this evening. We're the best. That part. You did a test kitchen last night. Unlike most people, I enjoyed it. I've heard the best food item tonight is going to be Brie and Shore Ribs. We're going to want to save room for that. I want to double down on that, is what I heard. Next 17, all toppers. about my next cruise my next cruise is in February I'm going to be leaving from San Juan on February 17th through the 24th and I am so grateful that Rich and Jazzy were able to add me to the melanin circle yes thank you guys for that let me talk about the reason why you want to get that next voyage while you're on the show you're gonna use the $300 deposit that you put up front you're gonna use that it's gonna be credited towards your next voyage so let's say the the fare was 2700 they take that 300 off and then on top of that, they give you the $600 onboard sailor loot, as I discussed. And if you get the deep blue status, they status match you with that. So they give you extra $100 in drinks. So then you end up with $400 in drinks. And if they're running another special, like I'm in a part of this particular special, I have $700 in drinks. I have $700 in sailor loot. And this next voyage is costing me like $2,400. So in actuality, I have $1,400 onboard perks. So look. You do the math. I didn't pay much for that ceiling at all. I told you it was going to be a big change coming, rolling out. I was speaking to a guy who was in the Facebook circle We're at dinner and he said, Guys, who are on the record with Rhonda. <laughs> and I was like, what? I like that. So guys, coming down the pipe, I am going to change my name. I'm still going to be budget savvy. We still going to talk about ways to save. However, I am branching out into different areas like the concert series. And I am going to change my name from Budget Savvy Trendsetter to On The Record With Rhonda. Let me tell y'all what I got going on. Judging by the hat. You already know, baby. You already know. We're going to see Beyonce, Queen Virgo, up in the house here in Houston, live, her hometown. We're going to get down. And I'm going to cover it all for you guys, and I'm going to post that up. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about secrets. There's some secrets that I found out. Now... There were two young ladies in the galley. We sat down and we talked. These young ladies, I'm gonna let them tell you about it. And the reason why I'm talking about it now is because they had the music so loud in the, ga in the galley that you could hardly hear them. But long story short, they talked about someone approaching them, a member of the staff approaching them and asking them, do they like X, Y, Z? Do they like jokes or do they like magic or something to that effect? And they were like, yeah. So they were like, okay, well, go down to said room i don't remember and look for the lady with the yellow fedora the lady with the yellow fedora didn't say anything to them she just escorted them down the long hallway 
and to a, a door that said crew only there was a private session down there for about 20 people i heard that they were able to get drinks down there they had their own dj it was really really cool <laughs> for things like that which I had no idea was going on on version oh, and there was one thing that I said I knew I didn't get to do the last time that I said I wanted to do this time and that was getting on the seesaw Yay! I was able to do it I still wasn't able to get into a class a aerobics class because I did I wanted to do one of the aerobics class but everything fills up so quickly I have someone who gave a recommendation they said the first thing they did when they got on board is they sat down and they booked everything right then and there before they even went to their room so I'm keeping that in mind last time I spoke to you guys about the pizza this time I'm taking you in the pizzeria where I was serenaded for my birthday by the staff as well as patrons of the pizza place um, this time you'll see you can order it the way you want it and yeah. hey. Today. today it's today Happy birthday to you. all right thank you Done. A little bit more done. Yeah, right. just the, with the cheese on the, on the top, it's like a little bit more brown. Scarlet Night, of course, they had the pool party, and some of the new friends that I met, uh, Anita and Alexis and Mercedes, they did their little Beyonce strut. Those ladies took a dance class, a private dance class, earlier that day with one of the instructors, and the instructor took them down the catwalk alongside the pool and I was able to capture two of the ladies. I wasn't able to get you, Mercedes. Sorry about that, girl. wide array of music kind of suited for everybody although I, did, I don't think I heard any country music if, if there was country music and I missed it you guys let me know in the comments I didn't hear any country music but um, I believe there was a lot for everybody <laughs> Let's go. 
say this real quick. Don't travel. Make sure you check all your bags. Don't travel with any bullets in your bags <laughs> because they are prohibited. Even one round, um, you could get detained. So something happened in, while we were in Bimini and it was a, a teachable moment. Let's just put it that way. And those are the words of my friend Casey, a teachable moment. All right, next thing I would say, um, there were a couple of people who were detained for vape pens, guys. We're not supposed to bring them and marijuana and the CBD I oil. I heard the Bohemian police officer talking to two individuals who were detained for vape pens. And he asked them, did you have a medical a marijuana card? And one person said yes, the other person said no. And then he went on back and forth with them, asking them why they brought it. You know you signed a contract with the cruise line. So long story short, they did not get arrested, although they were detained for a little while. They didn't get arrested. However, just keep that in mind, guys. I mean, do not bring prohibited paraphernalia on board the cruise ship. So even though you might get it through the cruise port, someone may have missed it. When you're coming back on board, they're going to catch it. So just keep that in mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Sir. I'm here to bless Sir. What part of Hallelujah. There's a fellow Virgo because I came over and said, where's the Virgo energy? Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, guys. Toodles.